Here, we're on a mission to bring more autonomous capabilities to the next generation of commercial aircraft. As you know, AI algorithms require a tremendous amount of data. In this case, that means countless images of runways. The flight test team and I rolled up our sleeves and got to work setting out on an exciting challenge to collect data from more than 100 airports across the United States, from Miami to Boston, Seattle to San Diego. In the span of four months, we traveled near and far, collecting imagery in different weather and lighting conditions. I'm delighted to announce we have completed our mission and have successfully returned home to Palo Alto Airport to continue our work. At AQ, we're building the future of light now. This requires us to look beyond the horizon to understand what the aviation industry will need the most. With passenger air travel demand on the rise, it's our responsibility to ensure we can meet this demand in the safest, most efficient way possible. For years, our team has defined and redefined what it means to develop and mature autonomous technologies for commercial aviation. Our flight lab has always been at the center of this approach. This aircraft provides us with the perfect tool for rapid iterative software development and testing. 100 airports symbolizes so much more than meets the eye. It stands for over 5 million images that will be funneled through our machine learning development pipeline to develop and test the robustness of our algorithms. It's not simply flying in and out of 100 airports. It's multiple approaches under different conditions, day in, day out, recording countless hours of runway footage. It brings me great joy to announce that we not only reached but exceeded our target. This work will be fundamental to the future where commercial aircraft can safely taxi, take off and land on their own, increasing operational safety and efficiency while reducing pilot fatigue. It's a new age in aviation and we are tremendously excited to be paving the path forward.